Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming with collaboration. Uh, I've been invited by Rachel. Thank you so much, Rachel, for inviting me back to your collaboration. This collaboration is together with Angela Kerr. Girls made amazing kits for this collaboration. It's called uh, Garden Story. There is so many channels who you can watch. There are two videos every single day. Uh, one video will be in Rustic and Grungy. Another video will be in Bright and Shabby. And this collaboration started 15 on March and it will be ending 15 of April. Uh, this is today where I am. I'm here. <laughs> so it's me today for Grungy and uh, Boho Needs. It's for Bright and Shabby. And we do have a Garden Charms and Dangles. In the description box under my video, there will be a link. Rachel made an amazing job with this link. You will find all information about this collaboration uh, in that link. Uh, there will be links for the kits, for other channels. Go to have a look because there is so many new channels. Not totally new, but small channels which needs our love. Which needs to, to see that we love them and we appreciate them. There is so many amazing, talented people. And really go to have a look. Uh, each of these uh, days, those videos, they are making step-by-step -step journal. All this, what you can see here, it will give you in the end uh, items, which if you will put them together, it will make amazing journal. So if you are sometimes struggle how to put a journal together, go to watch these videos because you will get there. So as I said, this is uh, today it's for me and for Bohonit, which is <laughs> brilliant, Bohemian Crafting and Bohonit. And we are creating garden charms and dangles. We do have here these two sheets. One is from Rachel, uh, from Ray Ratch and Bella Crafts, and another one is from Angela Kerkit. Both of these kits, they do work together. Girls make them together to incorporate together. And I did print out both of these, not every single page, but loads of these awesome images. I did print out for this little one, little journal, which I have prepared already. I need to fill it with all kinds of stuff so that those videos will be helpful for me as well. From these two sheets today, I'm going to be creating my little dangles and charms. And I'm going to start with this one. As you can see here on Rachel's uh, design, we actually do have a little tags. They already are telling us that we can create small little tags. For the base of these, I'm going to choose uh, cans. I used cans for hundreds of times in my journals. I love to create from junk and empty can. It's junk. It's something what people will put to trash, right? I do have video. I think it's four years old video when I am showing how you can prepare can for craft. I do have also some videos where I am using cans uh, for my... Uh, decorations so today i'm gonna be using two two cans and i will glue them together by using double-sided tape you do have my double-sided tape on one can uh, i'm using just double-sided tape which i bought in our uh, local shop it's probably carpet tape i'm guessing but it works you know <laughs> so i do have double-sided tape here as a between layer i'm gonna be using this old envelope another trash and I'm gonna glue this can on one side of this and I'm gonna fussy cut out this piece and glue the other can from the opposite side here I do have both cans glued together with that uh, envelope craft cardstock in the middle now to make sure that it's glued together really nicely i'm gonna run this through to my embossing machine it will push everything together and because i do have pretty much damaged my <laughs> my plate it maybe will give to this uh, metal piece also some texture so 
so I do have nicely flattened and glued together this sheet now I'm gonna be using uh, alcohol ink to make it a little bit more grungy you do have here this uh, brownie alcohol ink it's from octopus company I will put link down below for those who want to have a look I like this ink uh, the most from their colors because it does have beautiful brown uh, vintage look and I'm gonna just spread it on my metal piece And I do have here, uh, this is uh, isopropanol 99.9 .9 alcohol. So I'm gonna, from the far, I'm gonna add there a little bit of that alcohol and I'm gonna let it dry like this. I do have now both sides. Oops, yay, he did. <laughs> little bit spread so uh, with the leftover on my very dirty grungy tool uh, I did a little bit of shadowing here on this side as well now I'm gonna before I will cut this on pieces I'm gonna use my double-sided tape and bucket with double-sided tape and then uh, fussy cut out each of these little tacks so I'm gonna uh, fussy cut out these uh, little tags. I also glued my uh, papers on an old, <laughs> old envelope uh, to make this. This is that other half from this sheet. So I'm gonna create some decorative uh, charms from this one. And I also glued this on uh, old envelope because we will create those charms. I do have fussy cut out my little tags i'm gonna get up a distressing tool and um i think today i'm gonna take seal brown from spectrum noir harmony line and i'm gonna distress all edges on these little tags uh, i'm keeping this one because we can create some decoration with these strips and i do have that already double-sided tape so i will don't have to use any other you know uh, glue so i'm gonna Distress the edges on each of these little tags. My distressing is done. Now I'm going to measure one of these tags. They are quite similar. So this is one and one and five eighths, I would say. So on the this side, I would cut my metal piece in the leg one, one and three quarter, a little bit bigger. And here it is one inch, so one and one quarter. Uh, I'm going to cut from this metal piece. I'm going to cut pieces one and three quarter by one and one quarter, slightly bigger on both sides. So once this will be glued down, I will see the metal all around of the image as well. I do have my pieces cut it and this is left over so I can still create uh, you know some more grungy decorations I'm gonna grab these and now uh, I will try on one how well it will hold together sometimes when you do have alcohol ink on the material uh, double-sided tape doesn't work well on it so I'm gonna try here if I should wipe it off a little bit, I mean that alcohol ink. I don't think so. <laughs> it's holding well. So I do have glued my a little tag in the middle of that metal piece. I also cut it those corners because I just don't like those sharp corners. I said that hundred times. It doesn't look vintagey when you do have those sharp corners now i'm gonna get up my uh, crocodile punch the hole if you will notice on these images you do have that half circle it's like a uh, jump ring i guess so i'm gonna punch the hole in there
like this and add there an eyelet and I do have gorgeous metallic charm I'm gonna do this way all of my little tags and I do have eyelets in every single one of these little tags last thing what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna use again that brownie alcohol ink I added that ink on my dirty tool and I'm just gonna dab 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 the edges of this little tack and it will help me to make this look even more grungy so this is my first creation first charm in grungy style and we're gonna move to another one for my second uh, charm I'm gonna be using this uh, other half of that image and I'm gonna be using Sizzix Bix Dye uh, these circles the name of this it's actually circles one and a half inch six five eight three one five number and I'm gonna let this die to cut out the circles out of this uh, picture and I'm gonna also use some other cardstock and cut out a few more circles so I can stack them together. I do have my beautifully uh, cutted and decorated circles and I do have those planes. So now I'm going to stack them. I think one, two, three. Three will be okay actually. That will be strong enough. It will be thick enough. So I'm going to do layers of two these plain uh, circles and one with the design I do have my triple layers circles done uh, I'm gonna grab crocodile and poke the hole somewhere on that circle like this and I will also take my stamps and probably some stickers and embellish so maybe I will embellish it first with some stickers and with some little labels and then I will poke the holes for decorating I decided I'm gonna be using my grungy numbers I do have uh, three sheets of grungy numbers these three sheets they are uh, normally in uh, the size of full sheet I just put them here like you know on one sheet and I added uh, this and this one more time in smaller size my patron uh, and this one will be also in my digitals on Etsy uh, separately all three sheets like one you know one big one and then this one uh, to print it out this way and my patreons will have it this with this video as well so for my patreons go to have a look it's uh, posted with this video this little printable so I'm gonna be using them these little numbers because I wanna have it in that grungy style and again I'm gonna distress it distress the edges and again if I will find ah, there you are <laughs> if I will find my distressing <laughs> I'm gonna be using again steel brown because it, it does have nice brown tone so I'm gonna distress all edges and then up here and there these little cute numbers and probably do also some stamping I do have here stamps with uh, the postage kind of like postage stamps so I think I'm gonna be using these to add there some stamping and here are my little labeled and stamped images i did punch uh, or poke punched the hole in every single one of these so i can add there uh, on this jump ring and i think they do look amazing these images are so gorgeous with that garden 
you know, garden theme. And I do believe these grungy labels are going with this theme really well, especially when they are printed small like this. They do make beautiful decoration and with that stamping it goes all together. I did also simple stamping on the back. So now I can take these jump rings and prepare my little embellishments, little charms. So I will have them prepared with this jump ring. And now I do have ready this circle, little embellishments or charm, charms or tangles. And I'm gonna move to another part or another decoration. I do have here this sheet. Uh, I'm gonna fussy cut out all these images. And uh, as you can see, I did, oops, sorry. And as you can see, I have glued it on an old, uh, envelope and I'm gonna be using same cardstock or same envelope to reinforce every single pe uh, uh, every single pieces which I'm gonna fussy cut out that means lots of fussy cutting I'm gonna do three layers again to make it uh, a little bit thicker than just from one layer so I will always fussy cut out the little charm or a little embellishment like this then I will grab my glue so I'm gonna put the glue on the fussy cut out image and I'm gonna grab one of my uh, leftovers of cuts and glue it here and I'm gonna fussy cut out again so I think I'm gonna do just two layers <laughs> it will be lots of fussy cutting so just two layers I think I can't feel my hands. <laughs> it was two hours without break. Two hours of fussy cutting, gluing on second piece and fussy cutting again. <laughs> but I'm done. Look at me. Not look at me. Look at that. They are so gorgeous. I did also distress every single one of them with that seal brown spectrum noir ink. And now uh, I'm going to take uh, resin. I have bought this from Amazon. I will put link down below where from I've got this one. But I hope it still works. And uh, I do have here a UV lamp, which I'm going to be using to cure the resin. So I'm going to add the resin on my piece. And now I can take my uh, UV lamp and start to cure it. And after a minute or two, I do have nicely cured that resin. Like this. So now I'm going to do um, every single one of these with the same coating with that resin. I do have... Uh, resin on all of my pieces and as you can see I started to poke the hole in few of them I already have poked the hole I'm not sure if I will do it in every single one because here it looks like I will have to poke the hole through the uh, goose which I don't want so maybe some of them uh, I will keep this way and then I will probably glue them as uh, embellishment on the on the page or maybe on the frame but these you know, many of these, I can just take my crocodile, uh, choose the spot. Over the hole. And then take this safety pin and I can place these cute little embellishments together with another embellishment you can hang it 
somewhere. So I'm gonna put to those my uh, safety pins. So I do have my little paper resin pieces ready to be hung or you know uh, to be decorated something with them. And if I will use these, which I didn't add them, uh, which I didn't poke the hole in them, so if I will want to use it maybe here, I will have a really cute decoration on this frame. Very easy way. And actually all of them could be really cute <laughs> decoration. Oh yeah. So that's another beautiful embellishment. And because I do have here these leftovers with the double-sided tape on the back, I think I can create uh, paper beads with an eyelet on the edges. I have made a video a long time ago <laughs> with all kinds of paper beads and paper embellishments for junk journals. So I'm gonna link it down below for those who want to have a look. Here just very easy way because I do have hit that double-sided tape and inside of that bead I don't want to have anything sticky. I'm gonna fold it here on half and glue it together. I'm gonna take this poking tool owl and use it for that first, you know, twisting. You can use um, toothpick, <laughs> I couldn't remember, or wooden stick, you know, yeah. So any kind of wooden stick will do. I forgot to unglue these. And then, or maybe you do have that professional, you know, rolling thingy for paper beads. That's even more perfect. If you do have that, just use it. And then a row from your off cuts and leftovers. Roll your paper bead. And as I said here, I do have quite easy way to glue it together because I do have there that uh, double-sided tape so I do have my paper bead I'm gonna take two eyelets and I'm gonna slide one eyelet here I can also place their um, glue That super glue will do. Or with all this, I can cover it with resin and cure it on the, um, on the lamp. And I will have beautiful beads. with an eyelet on both sides so now i can either take a uh, super glue and just you know wipe the super glue all over super glue when it's dry it's hard or as i said i can take that uh, resin and coat this with resin and cure it under uv lamp i'm gonna do another one and i think i'm gonna take that resin and coat these with resin and these are my little beads I really like how they turned out and the sound of it I used that resin and I did coat it my beads with resin I left them on this and when I cured the resin I've been you know moving this like that and hold my lamp to make sure that the resin will don't leak just on one side 
and here are my little dangles and charms and here you can see how they look like when you add them to a book charm so the circle ones this with the resin on the top and here we do have the metal piece from cans with little butterfly with the resin on the top so these are my uh, little charms and dangles there is many more you can create from paper there are amazing videos on on youtube so go to have a look what you what you can create from paper this is my sharing for today and uh, my part of collaboration with Raj and Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr and many other amazing talented artists go to have a look link will be down below uh, and that's all for today I will share a link for the Grangy numbers as well for those who are interested thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much Rachel for inviting me to this collaboration I have to say I did enjoy this one very very much thank you so much for visiting me today and spending your time with me have a beautiful day take care of yourself and I will come back soon bye